Hi, I'm Thomas Lancaster. I'm a senior teaching fellow in the Department of Computing at Imperial College London, and I'm one of the lead advisors for the Academic Integrity Programme for Epigeum. Why is this important for institutions to provide academic integrity training for both their students and staff? Academic integrity is a cornerstone for all of education. We have to have trust in our educational system and we have to have trust in the value of academic qualifications so that for all the students, when you go out and apply for jobs, that employers value the hard work and time you've put in. Academic integrity is at the backdrop of all of this for both students and staff. For students, we'd like to see that you're taking the opportunity to learn, that you're valuing information, that you're working with sources and you're understanding the implications of new technology. And for staff, we want to know that you're able to support students in that role in what can be quite a challenging and demanding time with new developments such as generative AI changing many of the ways that we teach and assess. So I'm very pleased that the Academic Integrity Program from Epigeum is available to support students and staff. How can academics contribute to a culture of academic integrity? To me, everyone has to be acting within a culture of academic integrity. It's so important that staff of all types and students are on the same page as far as academic integrity goes. So for staff, we're thinking about developing a culture where staff and students can work in partnership with one another, where we know that students feel they're being supported with academic integrity, so that staff are themselves acknowledging their sources of information and how they develop themselves there to help to grow that culture of community. There are a lot of steps academics can take to develop that culture. They can think about questions like uh, where in a particular degree are academic integrity concepts being taught? Often there's an assumption out there that somebody else is teaching this, but nobody ever does. So students don't get the opportunity to know about academic integrity, why it's important, and um, how a values led approach to academic integrity goes far beyond just helping students to reference and to avoid plagiarism. They can also hold academic integrity awareness events to try and get students actively involved in the discussion about academic integrity and the many ways to take this forward. Artificial intelligence is changing education. Should institutions view emerging technology as a threat or an opportunity? I'm a computer scientist, so for me, artificial intelligence, generative AI, machine learning, those are just standard techniques that we've been talking about for many years. And computer scientists are going out there improving this type of technology. One of the big changes we've seen in the educational sector in recent years is how easily generative AI can be made available to students and to staff. And so suddenly technology has gone from being something you need a degree to operate to something you just load up in a web browser and make use of. And so students, if they chose to do so, could go to a tool like ChatGPT or another generative AI system and um, ask for help with an assignment. There's then a thin line between when help is acceptable and when a student is essentially replacing themselves and getting a machine to do their work and therefore not benefiting from the learning. So my view as a computer scientist, and this comes across in the program, is that we have to be supporting students to work out when that line is, that generative AI can be brilliant for suggesting ideas, for coming up with talking points to include in an assignment, perhaps even to doing a certain amount of proofreading of an assignment, but everything has to be done with respect to university guidelines and local norms. There are all kinds of other opportunities to use artificial intelligence. So one thing I personally do, for example, 
is I often generate summary notes for my lectures. So I might take a lecture transcript and load it into generative AI and get it to pick out the main points. So providing extra opportunities to learn. And so we have to think about these tools as how they can help learning as opposed to how they can be used to breach academic integrity. What is one tip you'd offer students to help them act with academic integrity in stressful situations? I think everyone in education understands how much pressure students are under. There are a lot of demands on everyone's time, all kinds of personal pressures that everybody can come under as well. But to me, it's important that um, the students out there, you all think about working with academic integrity from the start. And there are many things you can do, uh, such as planning your time, not leaving everything until the last minute. But I'm sure you've heard this advice again and again and again. But one of my simplest suggestions to help you to work with academic integrity is to never go find a block of text, copy that and paste that into an essay and assignment, because often you intend to go back and edit it later. But sometimes it's very easy to forget this and to leave the original words there. And if these are not properly quoted, cited, referenced, then what you've ended up with is unintentional plagiarism. And from an educational point of view, plagiarism is considered a threat to academic integrity. If you always write in your own words from the start, you put the references in straight away, you can go back and edit and improve later, but you know you're starting from a firm base to make sure you're creating some high quality work of your own. Why should educators take a proactive approach when it comes to tackling academic integrity breaches? For me as an academic and somebody who believes strongly in the value of teaching students and supporting them, the worst possible situation is when a student is summoned in to a meeting about academic misconduct, because often this can be unintentional. The student has not understood the norms for their discipline, how to reference, how to work with academic integrity. This can have quite serious consequences for students. Sometimes a breach of academic integrity can mean that they're no longer able to continue on a degree, or it can mean they have to repeat a year at quite considerable expense. So anything we can do to avoid students accidentally breaching academic integrity is incredibly important and powerful to me. We need to put that education in place from the very start so that students have a firm foundation of knowledge of academic integrity on which to build upon. There are all kinds of other reasons we don't want students to end up in a position where they've reached academic integrity, whether intentional or not, because students find this incredibly stressful. They find this quite humiliating. They don't know how they're going to tell their parents about the situation that they're in as well. And so that's why we need that wider support in place. What advice would you offer to students, staff and educators who want to learn more about their institution's approach to academic integrity? Every institution out there has got a slightly different approach to academic integrity. They're often based on the same foundations that of course institutions want students to be able to perform to their best but some of the details differ quite a lot from institution to institution there are many ways you can find out more about your own institution's approach they will often have a set of policy documents on their website or accessible through shared folders these are not always the easiest things to read and they're quite often phrased from the point of view about what happens in the case of misconduct which isn't an area I hope that many people have to worry too much about but it's useful to familiarize yourselves with that information. The student unions in different institutions and other student groups may well run their own events surrounding academic integrity if not, then that could be an opportunity for students to get involved to start to organise those. There's an international day of action towards academic integrity that takes place every year that is organised on an international level. Many institutions run events surrounding that international day of action that students may wish to get involved with as well. Otherwise, talk to people, find out how much everyone knows about what is happening 
surrounding academic integrity. And if you can help to build up the community to help other students accidentally breaching academic integrity, then that's a very powerful activity. How can the new course support students and staff in enhancing their awareness of academic integrity? It's wonderful to see the launch of the new version of Epigeum's academic integrity program. Uh, I particularly like the fact that there are sections of the program aimed at both staff and students because it really emphasizes the idea of a whole community approach to academic integrity. The new course is structured from very solid foundations. It's had the guidance from academic integrity experts and educators from around the world. And to me, it really embraces the idea that academic integrity is built around exploring and understanding a set of values. It's not purely about cheating, it's about helping everybody to succeed in their profession. I also really appreciate the way that the new version of the programme considers artificial intelligence strongly throughout, because this really is going to have a huge bearing as to how we operate as an educational community in the future. I, I worked on the first edition of the Academic Integrity course as one of the authors. I've worked on the latest edition as a lead advisor. And to me, it was incredibly pleasing to see the way the new edition takes the very best parts of the first edition and then enhances them, improves them, updates them with the latest information to make this relevant to so many more people and to consider the way the world has changed in what is really a relatively short space of time since the original edition was released.